And the guy like was like this. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Like that. And then he. I said, and by the way, this is my friend the brain. Quiet PC, I'm trying to take over Canada. Told you. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. What better way to kick off season nine of VO Buzz Weekly than with two of our favorite people? Their body of work is ridiculously amazing and they're basically the soundtrack of our past, present, and future. We love them, we adore them, they're here. They are the wonderful Maurice LaMarche and Rob Paulson. We're getting buzzed. Woohoo! Woo yeah. We are here with Pinky and the Brain. Yes! yes. Wow, wow, woo, wow. Yes, who's which? Unbelievable. Nerf. How cool yeah. is that? Thank you very much. You know what's funny, Rob, is that when I saw you earlier, you, 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 the, one of the first things that you always say is, oh man, I love being around Maurice. I love hanging out with him. We have such a good time together. And then I showed up. And then you yeah. show up. Yeah. I don't know how that <laughs> Amazing. It did. It showed up anyway. You know what? Forget uh, everything I was just saying. No, it's true. I, I don't I, love you. That's fantastic. Can I just say something very random? Please. We will be in the car. We're always listening to rock music. And whenever Rush comes on. Oh, people, yeah, it sounds a yeah. little like Getty Lee. Oh, wait, yeah. it's oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I literally was like, Crazy. now all I right. hear is you. When I hear, I'm like, right. yeah. Run. Fly by night away from here. <laughs> Change my life again. Fly by night, goodbye, my dear. Now, 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 now. When I hear a cricket, oh my I go, God. oh, don't step on D. We walk around D, and then when I hear Rush, I'm like, there's Rob. There's anyway, Pinky. Yeah, I, I just, I've, I've I actually heard other people that. say that, and there's Pinky Lee, Getty Lee, Pinky. I know, it's kind of odd. Yeah. But yes. There's no Getty Tuscadero, though. <laughs> no, there is. <laughs> right. Good for you. You know? Do you so, hear hey. it? Why you? you? All I right, now, come I'm on. not a big Rush Keep your fan, hands. although yeah. I, 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 I did. I mean, I certainly hear What's your hear objection to Rush? Nothing. I'm not either, but they play it a lot on Classic one Well, not only are they Canadian, I went to high school Stop. with two of them. Yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, right. okay. Uh, they were a couple. Of, they graduated a couple of years you before and I Alice got Lyson, there. Right. Uh, Alex Lyce and Getty Lee both yeah. went to my high school, right. and the first high school dance I went to, they played. No. And they'd already had their first album, but they really came back as Rush. Their old high school as Rush. Wow. Yes. But they had the original drummer. They didn't have. Um, it was a Neil, Neil Pert. Neil Pert yet? No. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. But but uh, you know, as you may know, Neil ha Neil Pert has a very difficult personal life. His wife mm -hmm. and his daughter both passed away. Mm -hmm. And he wrote um, a really, he and I are both, I mean, well, I'm a big motorcycle guy too, but he he is, uh, does a lot of touring on his bike and wrote a book called Ghost Rider about uh, how his motorcycling was kind of a, um, a balm for him mm, dealing with the, his tragedy. Yeah. yeah. And there's a segment that I think that Maurice showed me uh, in which Neil refers to Pinky in the brain and how yep. much he and his daughter love that. That's show. right. Oh, yeah. wow. So it was yeah, he, really, it's right in his book. He yeah, talks about cool. loving wow. Pinky in the brain. So those are the little things that wow. as we kind of go through our own um, experiences that we, we get to meet people or see sort of tangentially how deeply people connect with these characters. Yeah, it's man. nothing short of miraculous. Yes. Oh my cool. goodness, yeah. Wow. Absolutely, so listen, wow. I, I, I wanna kinda get right into this because a few, uh, well, we had the anime, the, all you guys, yeah. you, uh, you, you and, and Jesse and, and, nice and Tress with the Animaniacs <laughs> reboot coming up, and we're like, well, with that also we comes another reboot. Right, so yes. which is why we're here today. So, what what's going on with the uh, Pinky and the Brain reboot? Is it is it going to happen? Well, it's called just the Pinky Show now. The Pinky yeah. Show now. They oh. lost the ampersand <laughs> and, and everything after it. They said, you know what, it's too much. Uh, it's the too budget cerebral. will not. The budget yeah. will not handle uh, the ampersand. Right, <laughs> and uh, that other character after it. Uh, just the, we ran out of graphics, blew all, all our graphics money. Uh, so it's just Pinky. Yeah. Um, you know, it's so funny because because uh, as of the day of this taping, Amblin's uh, Twitter account said a happy birthday to Steven Spielberg. Yes. And I responded. Yesterday, I think, right? Was it yesterday? Yeah. I responded and said, uh, yes, Stephen, please uh, take over the cinematic really? world, but leave some, leave the rest of it for us. And Amblin's Twitter account said, 
you bet brain we're just looking forward to your How about that? to your adventures and i'm like going well How cool we're, we're kind of we like we're kind of being asked not to play it up too much yeah. but yet here's amblin oh yeah amblin is Everybody you know knows. basically we're playing it's it up. the worst it's kept up. best kept secret in Completely. hollywood yes. that we are back at it's the worst kept, kept secret yeah. in hollywood yeah. but it is the best news yeah it is so, absolutely not the best news ever. Uh, we are extremely that's pretty excited. cool when um yeah. when amblin follows you know uh, because one of the things that, that, that you guys know, and thank you again for doing this show because it shines light on, on all of us who are lucky enough to do this work. Uh, and they, we get it. We don't draw them. We don't write them. Mm -hmm. The characters are famous. However, um, just like we discussed with um, Neil Peart and now with Amblin, people do pay attention to the folks who do this voice work. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, particularly with respect to shows like Pinky and the Brain that have, I think, almost inarguably become iconic Mm -hmm. for many reasons. But now with shows like this, social media, the ubiquity of conventions which are springing up like zits on a 12 year old. Yeah, oh my God. We get mm -hmm. to see how people connect. Yeah. It, it's it's really cool. Well, and, yeah. and, I, and I want to say to the people, <laughs> get a life. But I don't. But it I say hurt. thank you. It does not hurt that when people meet you, you are lovely human being. Well, well what, why would because we be not, anything that isn't else? Always the case, when it comes right down to it, why would we be anything else? Exactly. People standing is. in line, yeah. long lines, mm -hmm. for hours sometimes to say, you know, you were the voice of my childhood. You you, you I was my, I the first time it happened to me was in um or, in Orlando and and this little girl came up to me and said, "My mom died." Oh, yeah. And my father and I it was just my father and I. And for a year, we were literally shell shocked. We just shuffled around the house. We made food. Nobody was mad at anybody, but we only did the very essentials. You know, he went to work. I went to school. I came home. You know, we fixed a little a little snack. But at four o'clock, we sat down to watch Pinky in the Brain mm -hmm. and Animaniacs, mm -hmm. and that was the only time in our day we were allowed to laugh. Wow. And then we had dinner. And we were just quiet. We hardly yes, talked. Amazing. But that was our that was our oasis. Yeah, that uh, was our chance to be sane for a moment mm. and 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 just let it all out. And it was it, I was moved to tears when she told it to me because it was the first time. It was a long. It was I think it was a, it was around two thousand and three or so. And it was one of my first conventions where I really interacted and got went. Wow, this thing was more than just so a yes, job. It's bigger than It was more than just a gig I had in 1992 yeah. to 1998. This affected people into the positive. Mm -hmm. And and uh you know, ever since then I've had tremendous respect for you know, I've I've done I can't even tell you how many shows I've done. Not all of them have had that effect. No. But no. Pinky in the Brain and Animaniacs definitely have. Yes. So I have immense respect for the reaction that the fans have to it and I'm grateful for it. And I never ever poo poo it. Mm -hmm. at all just right so well, to see the privilege to have been helpful yeah. to anybody you know yeah. Yeah. by doing my of silly course. Orson Welles yeah version. yes but the timelessness of the content speaks volumes because not every show that you can watch I mean and how now everything it's like the world of the reboot everything's right. being rebooted yeah. um, in live action too so it just the content the creativity of the creators the writers well, yeah. the beauty of a reboot of our show is we don't get any longer in the tooth we're right. you know pinky yes. and the brain still look like pinky yes. and the brain yeah they've <laughs> just they've get, just given the you know it's a little bit finer line drawing but I mean they still look like the original pinky mm -hmm. and the brain and and so you know, we, we pick the, we pick them up where we left off. You know, yeah. and they're still trying to take over the world. That's so cool. Uh, Brain is a little bit more bitter about having not succeeded yet. Ah, okay. So and there might be just a slight. I think he's also edge. got an enlarged prostate, which is very oh. disturbing, you know, disturbing to a giant mouse. That, that happens right around the age of three in yes. lab mice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A sense of urgency. No yes, no doubt. Yes. Yeah. You said something that, that that's important with respect, especially I think to Pinky and the Brain and Animaniacs, and that is that. Um, look, you're talking to 50% of the Ninja Turtles, so I know all about mm -hmm. uh, merchandising. And Pinky and the Brain and Animaniacs are two shows that were essentially art for the sake of the art. That is, shows that were successful for their content, as yeah. you said. Yes. Um, not about T-shirts and, and action figures. There is some swag, and there will be more because of the reboot, and the audience mm -hmm. is exponentially larger. But... They have been successful precisely because Tom Ruger 
and Gene McCurdy and Steven Spielberg and all their folks knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. And they knew that the, from the beginning, the edict was to not condescend to the audience. And the proof is in the pudding. 20 years later, they're like, wow, the king of Hollywood at 73 years old or whatever says, we should do this again. Yeah. And it's not about how many action figures we yes. sold. Yeah. Yes. So that's a big that's a big deal. It is a big yes. deal. Uh, there is. were there were a couple of plushies, don't yeah, actually. Yeah. It was not it was not a merch driven show. No. Yeah. yeah. They no, made no, the no, show no. to be funny. They made the show to make themselves laugh. They wanted they wanted to the, the rule was always could could I watch this with my kids and enjoy mm -hmm. it? And they they wrote to the adults and included the kids and uh, and it was not about and as you said, any of the other stuff. No. Yeah. yeah. So. And that's a really big deal because um, even though the zeitgeist is different, things have changed a bit. We have often three generations of people, grandparents, kids, and their grandchildren mm -hmm. who love Pinky and the Brain, who know yeah. all the Animaniacs songs. Yeah. And um, good stuff is good stuff. Yeah. That's why Bugs and Daffy and Tweety and Rocky and Bullwinkle are still relevant. Yeah. yeah. And when we years talked later. with you guys with Jess and Tress, <clears throat> um, and the fact that they acknowledged that the four of you should remain that I, the cast is that's yeah. a big deal spectacular, too. Spectacular, especially Huge. in a time when there's not loyalty and it's just who's the newest shiniest. Well, I, I, I got to so, tell you, I began to, when I heard yeah. the news that the show was coming back, but we didn't get a call right away. Yeah. They're going to do what they did to the Powerpuff Girls, aren't they? Mm. Maurice, they're going to get YouTubers to play us and listen. Be I, I mean, I feel very proprietary over the character, even though I didn't create him. Yeah, he I'm like oh my I, goodness. I'm insold with him. Absolutely. Even though better minds than mine wrote him and drew him, I just feel like brain is me and I am brain. And you know, yeah, I need clever dialogue written for me, but. I just feel like I'm I'm his yeah. soul. And so the idea of anybody else playing him, I found very depressing for a little yeah. while until they I started think, yeah. calling and saying, yeah, yeah we know we want you. But in I, fact, yeah. Steven pitched you. Yeah. He, Steven, Steven went in with- Mr. Spielberg said, no, 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 you we're call doing this. Mr. And these guys, I call, him, I call him Steve. Well, you guys bowl. He calls, yeah. he calls him Steve. He, he bowls Steve. with him. Steve. No, Stevie. no, nobody calls. <laughs> I call him Steve. Nobody calls him they Steve. They take a macrame class Steve, together. Steve, forget animals. that. It's yeah. Steven. Yeah. Steve. But uh, he B. went. He went in and yeah. literally, with our pictures, and said, "This is our cast. Fantastic. These people are cool. part of the show. Very cool. You can do whatever you want with the rest of it, but that's Pinky in the Brain, and that's." Yeah. Yeah. And it was a sort of, yeah. you know. Uh, can I ask, and I don't even know if you guys maybe can talk about this. I'm, I'm sure you can, but are you guys already physically recording episodes of mm -hmm. the new Pinky? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and. I think we can say that. I we guess. Say I just well, say. we said it. It's, yeah. it's done yeah. deal now. Yeah. And is, are you guys recording at the same time? Always. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. Yes, always. We play off each other. I mean, so much in a session. Mm -hmm. That you know, my reaction so to his to his silliness or his yeah. his attempting to you know get me out of my grumpiness or whatever. It's all such right. give take. Yeah, that we, we we couldn't do it. There was one time I had to come in. I was sick, and I had to come after him. And I just went. I don't know if this is going to fit with what Rob gave me. Mm -hmm. You know, so one out of the twenty six episodes, and you'll be able to tell which one. We weren't together. Yeah, uh, but uh, we. It it's was way, always that was way it, on the original. Way better right. to be yeah. 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 Well, On the original show, if one of us had a cold, they hold, they held the script. Yeah, until yeah. we were both well. And yeah. you guys have obviously worked on other things together, but when you put these little guys back inside of you, when you when you started again, what did that feel like? How oh, was that yes. coming home? Like yeah. riding a bike. Like we just yeah, it was like yeah. it was like it just came back to us. Wow, we just couldn't believe that we were actually officially reading new words yeah. mm -hmm. as Pinky in the Brain. Yeah. Um, and that was For the, the longest time, the coolest Mo part. said, you know, they're gonna replace us with, Russell Brand is gonna be Pinky <laughs> and Peter Dinklage is gonna be the brain. Oh, yeah. No. That was my nightmare. Not that those Pretty aren't good. two incredibly talented performers. Yeah. No offense, you but guys. But I just don't wanna yeah. see but anybody there, else's those no. characters. Is the content a little bit edgier now with the times or, or I think I think the uh the the the, the Rick and Mortying of animation may have played a little okay. brains a little more he first of all it's been 20 years we acknowledge the amount of time between the old series and the right world. right okay. um and brains a little pissier about have still having not succeeded in right. taking over the world yeah mm -hmm. he's a little and more willing to right. end the prostate 
<laughs> and, and he's a little more willing to consider slightly more aggressive means. In the old show, it was all mind control, hypnosis, time travel, you know. And, and it, but on, in this show, maybe, maybe Ray's, maybe Ray Guns. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. he's getting crazy. Yeah, he's getting, getting mad. Well, we had a couple fan questions. One was, Great. Um, they wonder who is smarter, actually, Pinky or the Brain. Well, in real life, Maurice is smarter than I. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Not life. true at all. In real life, he's much quicker than no. I am, and he's 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 got a very facile no, mind. I, and the best best lyric parodyist I've ever <laughs> met outside of really? Weird Al. I mean, he That's just true. comes up with song parody lyrics that are hilarious. Um, I'm I'm a I'm I'm that guy that I maybe say a clever thing, but I get to it after everybody's gone home. Mm. You know, I'm I like, don't know about you that, Mo. You are if I were writing, it would be fine. Hell, dude. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. But I mean, we, I mean, modest. I think truly, Pinky might be the genius. Mm. Well, you know, and, and the fans know this too. The song says, one is a genius, the other is insane. It doesn't say who. Right. And it doesn't say brain stupid. Right. I mean, no. you can be brilliant and insane. And right, there right. is something insane about a two-inch tall lab mouse that can, can take over the yeah, world. Yeah, true. Uh, but Pinky, uh, in his own way, I think sees the world in a way that nobody else does. Yeah, right. and that's a sign of genius. Mm. Maybe so it's very possible. Yeah. It's yeah. very possible that it's that Pinky's. The Do genius you guys okay. have you guys ever? Well, you got another question for yeah. Our the fans? other one okay. was uh, <laughs> someone wanted to know what NARF actually means. Uh, it, I, I, Native American Relief Fund. I think <laughs> Native right. American yeah. Relief yeah. Fund. Um, no, don't, I, donate now. Was somebody's I, name? Was one of the writers' names Fran, and he Fran turned and it backwards? Took, yeah. I, no, I don't know. Actually, uh, the NARF. I don't know that it means anything. NARF point, all of that. Um, it's Eddie. It's yes. Eddie Fitzgerald the, talked in sound effects yeah, when he would explain, pitch the show. Yeah, explain. When Eddie Fitzgerald, the physical uh, human model, both in spirit and and in countenance for brain for for, for pinky, pinky bless his heart but when he would pitch he would emphasize things with so so then brain would come in and you just get hit in the head with point like that and then and then all of a sudden pinky lands on a barf and you know and then, but long before pinky and the brain like he'd be pitching yeah. the, the the snorks or something like right. that yeah yeah right. and he but he'd always hit these you know sfx and make up words like narf and point and things like that so they ah. included so they, them yeah, they i didn't write in. Any of that. So, okay. so does it maybe mean something like "darn it" or yeah, or, or it's could an exertion of um, or yeah. yeah or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 or it's just, yeah. A, yeah. It's just a, a why am I doing it? The real guy's sitting right nah. here, and I'm doing Boy. I'm doing yeah. his sound. La, la, la. So, have you guys ever tried to put each other's shoes on? Have you ever tried to be the brain? Have you ever tried to be? I, there were well, we did an episode yeah. in the first batch where we. Kind of, what was the Pinky POV or one of those? Or? No, no, no. It was called, He's Mr. Pinky, He's Mr. Brain. Oh, okay. And it was, uh, it was, it was a, it was a, a one-off and it was a bit of a, con the conceit of it was that Pinky and the Brain were also a cartoon series in the 1960s, a la Mr. Jinx and Pixie and Dixie. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and so they, you know, Brain had like a little bow tie and Pinky had a vest. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. They never ever animated it. But for this one, and it was Ruger's brainchild, for this one, he wanted it to be different. So he had you play Brain and he had me play Pinky. And uh, Mr. Pinky and Mr. Yeah. Brain. Mm -hmm. And we were we we went about, we still were trying to take over the world, but I think there was also a, a cat a we cat, had to yeah. avoid. Mm. And I forget who played the cat. I I, I don't. Recall. I know that I I have absolutely no business doing. I, I can't do an impression of Maurice. That, and honestly, I don't know that I've ever heard anybody do it. Your, I it's don't, not. You don't it's hear it it's often. not. It's, it's not, not an easy one. one. That is. That I mean, it's, I think it's unique to the resonance of uh, my whatever. It is my, because my, people my, do it my, in, in my person. My yeah, the people cool. say yes. yes, Mr. But they and they try. They don't have the cadence. That no. was just a terrific actor, and yeah. he created that. You know, yeah. it's, is there a well, skit you guys yeah. ever do sure. live, like at a con or something, for the people as as Pinky and the Brain that you guys just do together? Oh sure, I mean, yeah. we mess we mess around all the time. It's, yeah, it's the greatest. But you know, generally people want to. Say, Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Or they, or they, or they want Maurice to ask them, or they'll say, "What are we going to do tonight?" And the, uh, it, it's always a blast to play with folks. And then, mm -hmm. what is really great is when we get to do uh, conventions, and often there will be several thousand people. And you've seen 
Jesse and oh you know, gosh, yeah. man, they freak out. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Uh, they do. It's and like a rock concert. It's the yes. greatest. Yes. Um, and uh, I, I, honestly, we can't get enough of it. Um, also, we've been in positions where um, uh, we'll be coming through. Like, uh, the, tell them the story about coming back from. Uh, oh gosh. From Canada. Well, we were we, where were we? Saskatoon. Sa yeah. Sa what was that called? Uh, I think it was called. I don't, it was a convention in Saskatoon. Yeah, Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Yeah, we'll Sa yeah Sask Sask Saskatoon. 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 <laughs> it was a wonderful little convention, by the way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were coming back from there and coming back into the States and we were flying together. And we, so we went, went through customs and the custom guy was like, what are you, what are we doing? Yeah, their gig uh, is, you know, you know. Yes. Coming back to the States, what were you doing in Canada? Well, we were uh, at uh, the Comic Con. Uh huh. What were you doing there? Well, uh, did did you uh, did you ever see Pinky in the Brain when you were growing up? He goes, yeah. I said, well, he's Pinky. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I have thirty-seven pounds of heroin in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> and and the guy like was like this. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Like you. that. And then he. I said, and by the way, this is my friend, the Brain. Quiet, Pinky. I'm trying to take over Canada. Told you. Well, they busted up. And then they... So they just, they called another guy where we did selfies with them. And right. they were like, you know, you could be trying to get anything into this country. Yeah. And did the heroin make it through? Yes. The heroin yeah. went through. Yeah. Chunk, chunk, and in we came. It's great it. because wow. all it, you know... They it, lit them up and it it's their job to be blasé. Yes. It makes them happy. And there is no downside. Every time we are in the good... Uh, the, the incredible good place of being able to do that. Mm. All it does is make people happy. It's a superpower. Yeah. All the it's nice folks who are watching this, when I say, no, they're all doing that. Yeah. yeah. And they'll rewind it and say, oh my God, watch this, mom. No, yeah. it's glorious and we can't get enough of it. Yeah. yeah. Yet we can, you know, still sit in a soup plantation and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and have our dinner without anybody knowing who yeah. we are. But know? as soon as they find out, Kitchen staff, mm -hmm. everybody comes out. Oh, that out. time in San Francisco when we did Sketch Fest. Yeah. yeah, we were in this fancy schmancy place. It was it's in fancy the Four Seasons. Yeah. Fancy and schmancy in the Four Seasons. <laughs> and the guy just, you know, heard us talking to each other and doing the voices. It's the it's because we play around even when we're just yeah. eating dinner and yeah. stuff. We yeah. just goof around. And he was like, did, did you guys just do you sound like Pinky the Brain. Are you the yeah. You guys are really good. And that, the chef came out and the, every, every other waiter. It was great. What a meal we had. Oh, we, yeah. had some, we had some free food that yeah. night. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Free yeah, food pellets. Yeah, set a table anytime you want it. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Hey, how do, your, how do your kids feel about like what you guys do? I mean, not oh. just being, you know, voice mm. actors, but the fact that you go out and you talk to all these people and, and make people feel good. Now, how, how do they feel about that? I think... Uh, my son has gotten to the place to kind of full circle where uh, when he was a little boy and I was doing Ninja Turtles, it was really cool for both of us, for his old man to be Raphael and for me to have a little boy who loved yeah. Turtles. Yeah. And I, I was a big hit at career day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it would, hey, dad, it's time for you to come to career day in third grade. Uh, lady, uh, okay, class, this is, uh, this is Shelly's mother and she is a mortgage banker and she's going to talk to you about how your mommy and daddy buy a house. This is uh, uh, Joseph's daddy, and he is uh, an attorney. And here's Ash Paulson's dad, and he's Raphael! <laughs> and I, but it was fantastic. And then yeah. my son would say, would you, let's order pizza from Domino's, is Raphael, and it was great. Oh. Then there was a period of time where it was like, yeah, my dad, whatever. Mm. But now yeah. he's grown and married, and it's very cool um, because, he gets to see how people react, and um, uh, and he's also grown up with people like Maurice and Tress and Mark Hamill and Billy West and all these people who show up at his 18th birthday party right. or different events. So he understands fully now and has for years how really fortunate he was to grow up with the best of the best, all of whom are the nicest, most down-to-earth, mm -hmm. unpretentious, kind people yeah. In the world. Well, yeah. not, not me. Not you. But Mark Hamill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's but, still time. There's right. Still time. He can, but my kid gets a big kick out of it, I think. Um, um, and I think your boy, I know John gets a kick. Jonathan gets a kick. Jonathan will not let me see, though, how much of a kick he <laughs> Oh, has. really? Jonathan was, you know, I think, I, you know, he's a little uh, younger than Ash. Um, and so 
uh, when he was coming up, a show like Pinky and the Brain was a little beyond yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the stuff he liked, I wasn't on yet. And he liked a lot of stuff that was coming out of Canada, like Ed, Ed, and Eddie and mm -hmm. things like that. So I never really landed on a show that he watched. And then he got to the point where he was like, he didn't want to, he didn't want to know which of my friends was on what. Because I, I remember once coming in into an episode of SpongeBob going, okay, so that's Tom Kenny, that's Bill Fargabaki. And then uh, over there is, that's, that's, and he was like, Dad, don't don't tell me about your friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want this ruined. I've willingly, me. I've willingly I, suspended I, my yeah, disbelief. Exactly. He said, "I want to go into the world of this show without knowing that it's your job. <laughs> I yeah. know it's your job. What a big turd in a bunch. I don't them. want to know it. Yeah. So you know, uh, and the kids it goes are crazy. all. Yeah, I know. So, but but then I, you know, then I'd find out that he got in a fight with somebody because. Uh, you know, at, at school, he bragged on me. He said, you know, my dad's Toucan Sam. Right. And, then, and, and then the other kid went, went your dad is Toucan. Yeah. Ah. SH. Oh. You, know, you get dropped the SH bomb. And it was like, and, and they got in a fight. Okay. Yeah. And, he, you know, so, um, you know, uh, he's, and, and when I would read him stories, he'd, He'd sometimes say, if I tried to do the voice, he'd uh, just read like a regular dad. Yeah. Just yeah. like a regular dad. But when he was little, he used to love if I gave voices to his fish. Yeah. Ah, like he, nice. the fish would have a conversation with him. He came home from preschool, and I would like throw my voice into the fish bowl. What right now are you guys most proud of in your lives? Oh golly, I, I, oddly enough, I think our kids—the yeah. one, yeah. the things we talked about in the last segment. Yeah. I'm very proud of my son. He's got—he just dropped uh, four songs yes. with his group on mm. uh, Spotify. Search He's really good. Search the similar, the similar, right. the similar on Spotify. Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan, mm -hmm. uh, lead vocalist, guitarist, uh, and uh, pardon uh, me, way too handsome. Yeah, really this handsome kid, boy, and a lyricist, very talented, and co-composer. Yeah, it's wow. really. And there's a game kid. that just dropped uh, uh, this week called Boneworks. It's a VR game. Is he? Mm -hmm. He he's. Uh, some of the YouTubers are calling him as they do the gameplay. They're calling him Radio Buddy. That's becoming his his, oh. his ah. internet name. Oh, hey, Radio Buddy. He like if you go in the game and you pick up a radio, or you turn the switch. He's singing a song. How about that? So oh, cool. if you search Boneworks Radio Buddy, uh, you'll hear Jonathan singing a different kind of song. But it's a very that's it's cool, a catchy, man. It's yeah, catchy I, song. I, I, yeah, so he's getting some play. He's starting to he's starting to put his music out there. So that's beautiful. I'm very that's proud exciting. of him because he's worked his buns off to become terrific at it. And yeah. is he is he and, is he in his teens or no? He's twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and my son's been married now for I don't know three years. I can't I think. even believe that. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. Um, and doing great. He's in the video game business and produces video games. And we worked on a couple of things together. And he's doing, I, I you know, it, it's. Well, you guys know it's there's nothing better than to be able to look at your own children and and just be glowing about it. Yeah. And you know we live and well we're in Hollywood and I think and your son was born here too. Yep. Um, my American son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My American son. Because I'm, yeah. I'm Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> He's my anchor baby. Yeah. <laughs> anchor baby. But uh, uh, you know we have friends and people whom you know. Yeah. Who have had children uh, who've succumbed to, um, you know, addiction. Mm -hmm. um, circumstances that we all look at the end of the day and say, oh, my God, how did we get through this unscathed? How did your, mm -hmm. how did your babies make it through yeah. high school, Hollywood, all that stuff? I remember when my son got his driver's license and about six months later, he was like, uh, hey, man, my buddy's having a birthday. We're going to go into Hollywood and Highland for this party. And we live in Agora Hills. Mm. And I was I was petrified. I've been a living. A way. <laughs> yeah. And I, you I know what happens down... in Hollywood and Highland. Well, also, I've driven down there. It's it's a, it's it's difficult. It's, yes. And, yeah. and, you know, he's 17, fearless and all that. Um, when I grew up and had to learn how to drive, I had to worry about hitting a deer because I grew up in Michigan. Yeah. That was it. But, and how to turn into a skid, right? Because you're <laughs> driving in the, the snow, in the snow, yes. and it's counterintuitive, yes. but you got to do it. But all yes. the other stuff. When my son went to school, the parking lot was Rolls, Mercedes, Porsche, Mercedes, mm. Mercedes, 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 BMW, Porsche. Is there a song coming? Yeah, right. almost. Uh, Porsche, Porsche, Mercedes, Mercedes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about the BMW. But, <laughs> it, it's just a different thing. And I, my son was exposed to things in Hollywood by the time he was 15. Oh. 
that I never saw till I moved to Hollywood at 22 or 23. Mm -hmm. And my wife and I often say, wow, what, every time we hear about somebody's, uh, you know, uh, um, um, Ryan O'Neill's son going mm. into rehab for yeah. the 15th yeah. time. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, uh, you yeah, just, we say that 10 is the new 30. It's oh crazy. my God. Yeah. We think, how did we dodge a bullet? My son is respectful, smart, not an addict, hasn't been in it out of rehab. And, yeah. and parents who are just as good of parents as Mo and me, you have two or three children and one goes, yep. and you think, oh my yep. God, what happened? Mm. And so... Yeah. yeah, I'm most yeah. proud of that. Yeah. Without question. Are you a good father-in-law? Was it weird to be a father-in-law? Well, I'll tell you what, it's an interesting circumstance because my son fell in love with a woman from Nigeria. Oh. And my son could have fallen in love with somebody from Pluto and had more in common culturally. Mm -hmm. Abisola is gorgeous and she's smart and she's a she works for you, uh, she's a psych, a school psychologist and a LAUSD and wow. SC grad and masters and all of that but culturally it was fascinating get to under learning to understand yeah the nigerian culture but you know what i i have to say let me add let me add, let, add an adjunct to my is, is that I, her name yeah abisola Osimi. abisola yeah she's from lake i think lagos there's uh, a comedy called bob i know abisola, abisola and bob yeah bob hearts abisola yeah. i right. can't believe that yeah same Sorry, thing my pal my, billy gardell yeah but gardell yeah. yeah um my son's name is ash but uh he uh, but let, he, here's actually Something I'm even a little prouder of because um, when I uh, was growing up, if I'd fallen in love with a woman from Nigeria, you know, it'd be like, guess who's coming to dinner? I would have had to say to my parents, and both of whom were lovely people, but I grew up in Michigan. I would have had to say- In the 60s. In, well, in the, yeah, in the 60s. I remember, my, I remember the 1967 Detroit riots. Yeah. My, I would have had to say to my mother and father, mom, dad, I met this girl but I got to tell you something. Mm -hmm. And it it would have worked out, but it would have been different. Thing. You would have it would to have navigate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, my son met uh, Abisola at um, a party at USC, dated her for, I don't know, several months. Didn't make a remark one way or there, and we didn't ask. And so he said, I really would love to bring her. I'd love for you to meet. And what was so great is came up. She just lovely. We found love with her, and they left. And we both, my wife and I looked at each other and said, isn't it interesting and uh, how grateful we are that it never occurred to my son right. that he had to pave the way, that he had to say, just so you know, mm -hmm. my girlfriend is black. My girlfriend is from Nigeria. She is African. Yeah. And, and it never occurred to him that it made Even a difference. A yeah. And yeah. my wife is from North Carolina. In both our circumstances, we would have had to really have a serious conversation with our parents, parents mm -hmm. yeah. because of just the nature of, of the zeitgeist, totally. right? Yeah. And, and I'm so proud, uh, you know, it, it, at the risk of sounding too self-aggrandizing of my, and primarily my wife, because I was working and she was, uh, stayed at home with my son, but um, it, it's a big deal to people my age to have a child who doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, black, white, Whatever. Korean, yeah. Finnish, it's I just There's love another this person. Coming. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and moreover, it doesn't matter to my parents. Yes. I feel like I can say, hey, here's this woman. You go, hi, nice to meet you. Not, mm -hmm. honey, I got to talk to you. Yeah. And I'm so proud of that. It's fantastic. It, it yeah, is. Yeah, that and is really cool, yeah. man. I'm really yeah. fortunate. What excites you most about your future? Going forward. Um, but, um, I don't know my future. Yeah. I mean, you know, what's that, ahead? That I don't know, you know what it is. 2020 is, is yeah. here. And, oh. and, and, and like, you know, what are you looking forward to the, the, in the coming year or years? Well, we've already knocked this out. So that this, the rest of the year is. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah oh, well, get out of here. Yeah. That was very kind. <laughs> I'm sorry. The mic didn't pick that up. <laughs> if you could just. <laughs> yes. There is nothing to look forward to because we've already. Oh, we've peaked in January. We've already uh, uh, technically, as they say, blown our wad because we've had this. There's no point. Uh, right? Um, right. Yeah. Maurice, yeah. There, you can't tell me that there's nothing that you're looking forward to this year. I am. Uh, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking forward to being employed. You know, I am. I'm and just that's trying. the God that a simple man. Never stops. Yeah. We, all? we are yeah. just. Never stops. You know, we don't. We don't have that gold watch. We're just going. All right. Uh, 
uh, let's do the let's do the auditions as they come in. You know this yeah. life, yeah. and you know hopefully one, once in a while you you knock one out of the park on a show like Animaniacs or mm -hmm. yeah. or Disenchantment. Oh, yeah. most um, and, I am. I am, we are in we are getting into seasons uh, three and four. That's amazing. We're Beautiful. doing them together of uh, of Disenchantment, so we're in production on that now. We're hoping that uh, the once Animaniacs hits that. Uh, who just goes, great, give us a hundred. Right. Let's do mm -hmm. more. Let's do more of them. Yeah. Let's um, never end it. There's, you know, there's more Rick and Morty's to come, yeah. and I hope to be in one or two of those. And um, you know, that's 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 uh so that's and when Mo cool. is not working, which is rare, he's at home polishing his back to back mm -hmm. primetime Emmys from Futurama. Mm -hmm. We haven't even touched on Futurama. No. I saw our buddy Dave Herman yesterday. Oh, yes. And as soon I as I Dave. see Dave, God. I just go, my God, that guy's so talented. And the first thing we both said is something praising Maurice. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Mo is the sort of ultimate utility player, mm -hmm. especially on Futurama. He's like Tress on The, Simpson, on the Simpsons. Well, yeah. yeah. But, but except yeah. the Tress is Tress on Futurama yeah. and does more characters than I do. And you do on Futurama too? Tress does, Tress does more characters than anybody else on the show, even Billy. Get out of here. Yes. Well, but Mo has somebody back to back Somebody took to count yes. all the characters in Futurama. Somebody with a lot of time on his hands. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why she has a, the 50,000 square foot garage? <laughs> yeah. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> but I mean. I think 30 years on The Simpsons yeah. helps with that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, um, but, but she's so, so getting to be a utility player on that and having a couple of those characters get their own episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, the thrill of that. But I mean, you well, won yourself a very nice Emmy for too. Pinky on Pinky, Pinky and yeah, the Yeah, but in terms of my, uh, listen. Because it's such a beautiful character. I Thank you. But I, I, um. You know, guys, I've got this lovely cup here, and if I had 10 or 12 of them, they'd all be run a thing over. I, I have nothing about which, you mentioned earlier, that very kindly said that we're nice people, and as Mo said, we have nothing- <laughs> I don't think we ever said that. About me. I did. <laughs> well, you were very complimentary. I, I think my legs that. were no, crossed no, we, when I said it. Is that what so it was? That, no. Well, technically- I meant every word. But we have nothing about which to not be happy. Yeah. We get, like all of us, we get paid to do something we chose to do with people we choose to do it with. Um, it's the most glorious thing in the world. And our job is to make ourselves and millions of other people happy. Yeah. And then people give us American dollars. Yeah. yeah. Um, so from, it's all gravy to me. Uh, mm -hmm. the, um, I, I'm looking forward to, like Mo said, just doing more stuff. I love public speaking. I'm getting to do, I did a TED That's talk great. in Detroit. Mm -hmm. I love uh, public speaking. Mo and I, uh, a bit ago, were in um, Salt Lake City doing a, a toy thing for the holidays a couple weeks ago. Yep. And, and those experiences with Maurice and Tress and Jess are always miraculous mm -hmm. because we come home exhausted from three or four days of saying thank you to people who often will fly for right. three or four hours to stand yeah. in line, buy a hotel room, buy a ticket. That always a, astounds me. Right, and mm -hmm. stand in line mm -hmm. to tell us what a big impact these characters have made in their lives. Things like the general the general refrain is, my God, you guys are the voice of my child. Now my children's okay. But often, and it happens every time, we'll hear Mr. LaMarche, Mr. Paulson, but for Pinky in the Brain, my childhood was an absolute mess. Yeah. I was in the foster system. I never met either of my biological parents. I went to four different homes between six months mm -hmm. and 18, and it was heartbreaking every time I left. But as long as there was a television, dot, dot, dot. And that's impossible for me to, to, for me to comprehend vis-a-vis yeah. right. -vis my own child. Right, yeah. right. So when you get a chance to travel literally around the world, and have people go out of their way and spend a ton of money just to tell you mm -hmm. how important care yeah. that everything yeah. is gravy. Yeah. 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 But when you were saying earlier, it's too pretty about humbling, man. If, if yeah. the Utterly shows, humbling. Yeah. Utterly. All caps. Yeah. 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 But if the show's going to resonate, you know, the reboot of Pinky and the Brain, Animaniacs, Futurama. I mean, when you talk about the when those fans rally. Oh, honey. It's so powerful. I mean, uh, what they can do crazy. and how they can influence in either direction. So I and, and I feel like we're gonna be hearing from you for a very I, long time. I hope so, show. because the other thing that happens a lot is we're now seeing 
how many folks on the autism spectrum yeah. really respond to animation. There's a wonderful documentary called Life Animated, right? Yeah. With, mm -hmm. yeah. And yes. um, uh, I was on Gilbert Gottfried's podcast a bit ago, and there's a wonderful documentary, and, and the gentleman who created, uh, who produced in the documentary's son is autistic and became verbal as a result of listening to Gilbert's character. The other he one. was the parrot in uh, Aladdin. He was the, oh, that's what it was. He was the bird, and I can't remember yeah. the name of the uh, bird. Iago. The yeah. Iago. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's my talking bird. Yeah, yeah. yes. But the <laughs> opportunity to see very folks on the autism spectrum, yeah. and we've seen it time and time and time and time again, and I can never say enough how much I love these conventions because they're utterly inclusive. When we were children, those sweet kids would have been called retards. Oh. And that is not good. It's just awful, but it was the way it was. Mm. History, whether it's short-term or long-term, is about context. Yeah. Now we know better. Mm -hmm. So when these kids come up, and often same thing, their parents will have a 25 or 30-year-old sweet baby who will have trouble buying a Slurpee for the rest of their lives. But in this realm, they shine. Mm -hmm. And they can tell us every yes. line of dialogue every episode we ever did. Yes. Yeah. They and, have a home and, and a yeah. sanctuary. And, they do. And we are thrilled to listen. Oh, yeah. my you know, God. It's such it's a our, privilege it's our job to be a part of it. It's really cool, man. Yeah. It is cool. Yeah, it's 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 just mind blowing. Be inclusive. Welcome. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. and you guys don't just show up and go, great, where's my mind? Oh, Let's no. Go. You guys really are, you are there. Your humanity connects with We're the privileged ones. That's what That's what we don't understand is why people go out, and it's not false modesty, man. We're good at our jobs. But people go out of their way to tell us how, how appreciative they are. And we're, this is a privilege to be in a position where people go out of their way to have to tell you what you mean to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I say job, I don't mean it as, um, uh, uh, it's, 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 our, it's, it's our part. It's oh, the yeah. part we play totally. is, to, yeah. is to be inclusive to them and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's and to be appreciative. It's what you get to do, not what you have yeah. to do. Yeah, exactly. No, we yeah. want yeah. to do yeah. it. Yeah. I, I love so. it. Well, that concludes part one with Pinky and the Brain, Maurice no. and Rob. Uh, we're going to see you guys next week for part two, so check it out. Yes, you guys, don't miss it. Follow all of us on social. Thank you so much for watching. We love you, and just remember... You, you always, always have time for a little buzz! Yes. <laughs>